Eric Swallow, what a beautiful fall night. We got a special game tonight here on the turf field. Yeah, it's a great night. Uh, the uh, boys soccer program uh, has aligned with uh, United Way and they're, uh, they're sponsoring a live United uh, using a little bit of a Manchester United uh, football club theme. Uh, so it's a great way to uh, support the community and all the funds uh, are going to stay in the Southington. Uh, to several different organizations. So uh, another positive thing that uh, you know, a lot of the programs are trying to do now and reach back, give back to the community. That's terrific. Um, and uh, so you know, in terms of football, they just came off a uh, recognition of uh, uh, veterans, um, retired and active. Uh, they did that uh, last week. So it was another great way to uh, give back to those that live in the community that have served for um, the armed forces. So. Again, uh, a lot of positive community uh, activity, which is uh, really, I think, uh, making a difference uh, in terms of uh, supporting these types of programs. So how's the rest of the fall shaping up? Well, actually, you know, the teams uh, are all over uh, the place right now. Football has gotten off to a great start. Uh, they're 3-0. Uh, they just came off a solid win against Simsbury. They've got a bye week this week. Uh, so that uh, they'll be playing New Britain on October 11th. Uh, the boys' soccer tonight. Uh, they enter the game, I think, three, three, and two, uh, and they're 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 reaching out and they have a good opportunity to qualify for the uh, the state tournament if they continue on their present track. The girls are currently, I think, four, four, and one, and they had a good win last night at Windsor, so they're in a good position to qualify for the state tournament. Field hockey, they've been uh, they've been down a little bit, but uh, they had a result today against Hall, and Hall going into the match uh, was undefeated, and they took them to overtime, losing one nothing in overtime. Uh, Volleyball continues to be a consistent factor in the CCC as well as in the state. They're seven and three, and they have a big match tonight against Bristol Eastern. Cross country, cross country. I just updated with Coach Rich Nero. Uh, the girls are currently four and two, and the boys are three and three, and they're getting ready for their CCC Open Meet, which is going to be held up at Wickham Park in, in Manchester. Um, so all again and all, things are going well. Uh, it's another uh, long day here, but I think it's a great way to, uh, to end the week on a Friday night uh, playing soccer here uh, on the new turf field.